is gonna be this is gonna be fun. This is a level nine Zubat, huh? That's interesting. Too bad uh Flaming Mold don't give a care in the world. He is going to burn that bad because they are fairly Did you really confuse me? Oh no, you suck. You suck, monkey boy. Let me guess, hurt itself. I was confused. Oh no, oh, it landed. That rarely happens with me. And somebody's booting up. Oh, and he's burned too. I am liking that. I am liking that ever so much. It's kind of funny how they have like a reddish tint, so they almost look like they're supposed to be a shiny Pokemon. Oh, that's one thing I'm wondering. Are shiny Pokemon in Pokemon 3D? Because I don't remember seeing that anywhere in the change logs. But I would I would assume that there would be some shiny Pokemon. But I don't know for sure, because that might be a different set of coding that the guy hasn't gotten around to yet. Or it may just be in the default code of all the Pokemon spawning, or not spawning their chances. I'm not too big on coding. Um, as of recent, I can't get there, can I? Oh, that looks really creepy. That is very creepy. I'm very surprised at how creepy that is. Yeah, you, you can keep your distance. I'm not angry at you. You are fairly frightening. I believe there is a picnicker girl over here in this corner. That's a bunch. Yeah, hey, you give out phone numbers, don't you? Oh, wait, the Poke Gear's not in here. I keep forgetting that. Because, uh, we never got Youngster Joey's phone number. Not like I wanted it, but, uh, he never offered it. Or I don't think he offered it. But either way, we can't use it because there is no such thing as Poke Gear. And these are getting into the higher levels. Which is kind of scaring me. So we're going to get, um... All of our... What's the word I'm looking for? All of our secondary Pokemon, not primary, secondary. We're gonna get all of our secondary Pokemon to around level 10-ish, 11-ish. And the Flaming Mole will just be at wherever we put him and hitting the frickin' wrong button. So we're just gonna continue on with Ember. I really hope that uh, the Flaming Mole learns a new move on the next level because I really don't want to look at Quick Attack and Smoke Screen anymore. Because I'm probably never going to use them in any circumstances thus far into the game. Unless I'm really desperate for getting their um, accuracy down. But I don't think I'll ever do that because I'm not a fan of using um, passive type moves. I'm more of an offensive type. Oh, the thing was level 10 because she only had one Pokemon. Okay. Fine by me. Take it easy, that's mean. Ugh, go away to school, kiddo. Does your- do your parents know you're here? Does your mother know you're here? I mean, look at she's in a cor corner in the mountain area, or I guess it's more of hills. But nevertheless, she's in a corner in a field all by herself. I guarantee you she's probably like seven max. That's an item over there. What kind of item? I never knew that there was an item there. Potion. Is that, um... Oh, that's the... what's called? Ah, oh, that's uh, right before the entrance to the cave. I forget what the cave's called. That's a wild Pokemon battle. I'm wondering if I should just skip the- Oh, Bellsprout. I'll catch Bellsprout, because I don't think I have one. Uh, yeah, we'll attempt at it. I mean, why not? If we're going to become Pokemon Masters, we're going to have to catch it sooner or later. Might as well do it sooner. Vine Whip. That's a good Grass-type move, actually even though it's not very effective, and it will be your demise, but it is a very good grass type move to learn early on. And that one shot it. Oh, of course it's a critical hit! I can never get those when I'm in a normal battle, but god forbid, when I'm fighting against a Pokemon that I'm trying to catch, I get all the critical hits. It's like this game has a troll engine built into it. Um... I think these are just battles. I like the shadow. That's actually kind of cool. But I don't know what's over there. I think that's just grass with a couple of... Maybe an item or a trainer in there. And I guess once we battle him, after these guys, we'll go back around and see what we missed. These guys should be pretty easy to take down, too. They probably only have Magikarp. Maybe some Rummerades. And a uh, ton of cool. Maybe here and there. Or no, I think they have some cool fish. Yeah, he has a magic curve, so we can just use Mount Pod, so he gets all the XP. 
But I think they do have quillfish here. You know what? Now that I think about it, I have never seen a quillfish outside of Gen 2. Never. I guess it wasn't a very popular Pokemon. Because I don't remember it, like, um, remember seeing it in Platinum or in, uh, Black and White as, like, um, a Flash Mob. Of a Flash Mob, what am I saying? Uh, the random Pokemon events where there's a swarm. Yeah, swarm, that's the word. There's a swarm of them, but. I'm fairly. God, I can't think of any words today, and I sound like I'm a stuttering, uh. See, I'm doing it now! Uh. Okay, let me just regain my thoughts for a second. Because I sound like I'm retarded. So, Remoraid. Not Remoraid. God dang it! Quillfish, I've never seen outside of Gen 2, but I think that's fairly reasonable because it wasn't that great of Pokemon seeing as how I believe it was a poison and water type. It was almost like the Gen 2 equivalent of the tentacle from the first game. Uh, first gen, rather. So, that's probably why it didn't go over quite well in the other generations, and they ended up keep keeping tentacle anyway. I think he said he's still sending out a Magikarp, yeah. We're just gonna have Monarch take down this whole army of Magikarp. Or not an army, I was more of like an armada. Well, I, I guess you can't really call them an army if they can't fight back. We'll just, uh, say it's a slaughter. That sounds very dark, but I think that's the appropriate term. You know, another thing I didn't test for right before I did this? I didn't test if you can hear the sound coming from my speakers into my mic, so you guys might be hearing the sound twice. I don't think you should, though. You know what, maybe I'll turn down the volume a little bit from my end. Yeah, I can still hear everything going on well. It's not like there's any voiceovers in this game. It's just music for the most part. Because the attacks don't have sounds yet, but he did add more um, sprites or animations to the moves. Not anything considerably large, but it still gives a cool effect, and I kind of wish that they would do that more often in the newer games. I always imagine that when the DS games came out and that it featured the DS, I always imagine the top screen would be your conventional battle style menu where it's one Pokemon on the bottom left and another one on the top right, and the move panel down at the bottom of the first screen. But the bottom screen would be like, um, uh, shoot, would be like a top down view or a side view or a rotating view of the battle, and it would show everything in like 3D, like the Pokemon actually performing and carrying out the, the moves. Which I kind of wish that they would have done, and I think they're doing it with the new Pokemon game that's coming out with uh, X and Y, but I could be mistaken. Another thing I'm fairly disappointed about, and my volume just went into crapper, uh, something I'm fairly disappointed about in the newer games past Gen 3, is how they still kept the 8-bit pixely cry of Pokemon. I really wish that they would have upped those up and changed them, because they obviously had the space and power to do so, but instead they used that space to add in really pointless stuff, like contests when they came out in the Gen 3, they were cool, they were something different, then they added the Pokemon Athlon and Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which I didn't really care for. Battle Frontier Element was a cool addition back in Emerald, but what they did with it in Diamond and Pearl I didn't really like too much, and then in Platinum, they revamped it and they made it much better, but I still think Emerald had the best Battle Frontier. Because I really like the Battle Pike and the Battle Pyramid, but anyway, they added all these little tiny side stuff to do, and, like the Battle Train in Black and White and the Pokemon Athlon, that kind of stuff, which I really didn't care for because to me that's not what Pokemon is about. That's more of like extra stuff, but in order to like essentially complete the game, quote quote, to complete it, you would have to do those things, and you'd be forced to do them, which I really didn't like, but I don't think you really had a choice. Monarch leveled up, that's good. He, I think he evolved soon, too. But I really don't like how they took the more side game approach. I wish that what they would do instead is make the stuff that they already have better, because I think that'd be much more beneficial to them as a company and getting more fans and keeping the ones that they have than doing what they did before. Now, I could just be blabbering nonsense, and I could be the outlier in the crowd that thinks that, but I figured, I can sh I, why not share my thought? But speaking of the Battle Frontier, I really miss that old Battle Frontier. I just felt it had a really good lineup of systems and everything. The only area that I didn't really care for in the Emerald Battle Frontier was the Battle Factory, because you didn't use your own Pokemon. And it was very disadvantageous to me because I didn't know the Pokemon I was using fairly well because back then I just had one team straight off from the beginning 
and then the only time I would add to it is if I absolutely needed to, or if I got a legendary, and Pidgey is getting his butt kicked because I did not realize that this magic card was level 17 and knew all these moves. So, we're going to switch to, oh, I can't really do flame, oh, no, yeah, I can do flame anymore. He doesn't have any water cup text, he just has flail, I believe it was. See, this is the one thing that's hard about commentating, is concentrating on the game and talking. But, uh, I'm glad, oh, he just has tackle, he doesn't even have flail. Yeah, we should be good. We can try this fish. Turn some sushi into some filet mignon. Wait, no, that's, uh, beef. What am I saying? We'll make it into some salmon. So, yeah, the Emerald Battle Frontier was really good. They had, the uh, Battle Pyramid, uh, which is, I think, my second favorite. The Battle Pike, which was my first favorite. That was a good hit. That was a good critical hit. Um, they had the Battle Dojo. I would say that that would be my third favorite. They have the Classic Battle Tower, which is in every single one of the games, which... I, I never really cared for the Battle Tower myself, but that, nevertheless, that was still good. And then, uh, what was the other one? It was in the top left of the map. I think it was the Battle Hall? Or Battle Stadium? Battle Stage? But what that one was is, um, where it was like, um, attorney-style battle setup. Or there'd be two people going, uh, or not two people, it would be one person versus one person, like, five times over, and then whoever won that battle would verse the winner from the other tier next to them, and then those winners would verse those winners, up until you get to the finals, where it's just 1v1, the best of the best. I think that's how you call it, tourney style. Or what is known as tourney style, rather. But, like always, I could be mistaken, but that was one of my favorite Battle Frontiers. And then the Platinum Battle Frontier was, uh, a really good one too. <laughs> it kind of looked like a uh, mo monarch just m morphed in this. Uh, keep forgetting his name. Steve. His name's Steve Smith. Smith. God dang it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll take that hit. But um, oh yeah, we have to battle this guy. I completely lost my train of thought. Battle frontier for platinum. That's where I was, right? Yeah, where was I in that? But yeah, I like the Battle Frontier um, for Platinum, just a little bit less than Emerald, but it was definitely one of the better ones. Ooh, Holy Wog. That's different. I think I'm gonna have Flaming Wolf take that. Oh wait, he has War Gun, doesn't he? Shoot, we might have just killed ourselves. Oh, 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 that's even worse. Uh, I can probably still watch up. No, back. Battle. Okay. Keep losing my train of thought. Platinum. It had one, two, three, four, five battle systems, I believe. There's Battle Arcade, which is my favorite. There was ooh, one HP. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, battle Arcade, Battle Factory, which I didn't like. Battle Tower, Classic Battle Tower, which I didn't really like in that version at all. Uh, then there was the Battle... I don't remember the other ones because I never really visited them. There's one where it was like a contest one where you picked what type of Pokemon you'd like to battle. Freaking wrong button. Um, but I forget the name of it. I really do. But either way, those two Battle Frontiers were really good and I really wish that they would remake a game like Emerald because I believe that Emerald was probably one of the best games that they have ever made. There was just... They, they added a lot of content in it from Ruby and Sapphire, but the content that they added wasn't filler to make you feel like it was side stuff. It actually contributed to the main storyline. Like, um, or, I wouldn't say the main storyline, but it's not so big and massive that it would be its own thing. The only thing that may be like that would be the, uh, Trainer Hill, I think it was called. But, I didn't really go on that too much because that was fairly easy to beat. I mean, you beat it once and that was pretty much it. It was just timed run of how fast you can complete Pokemon battles up a hill, or a tower rather, but um, an emerald that was exclusive from Ruby and Sapphire, they had the one migrating tower, or vanishing tower, that was over in the desert, and it would only be there I think once every three days? Oh wait, I think we just killed Pidgey. Yeah. I should pay attention more. Oh well. I uh, will just keep flaming them all out, <laughs> since this apparently isn't going to be an easy to win battle using our stock Pokemon. But Emerald was very good, it had a lot of exclusive content that contributed to make me like it even more. 
And I think Emerald was one of the only games that I put in a full effort into trying to complete it as best as I could. As in, I would like, try to catch every single Pokemon, I would try to port over Pokemon from my previous games. I like, legitimately tried as hard as I could to complete that game 100%. And I think it ended up working in the end, up until Platinum came out where I started porting things from my Emerald games to Platinum, and then immediately regretting it, because I realized you can't move them back to Emerald, which I'm pretty sure they could have figured out a way for you to move them back, but they never did, alas. Yeah, there's an item right there I just saw. Oh, you're actually looking for a fight, and your texture was glitching. You're a good angler, but an even better trainer. Fisherman Ralph. Ralph. Why does that name seem familiar? Seems very familiar. Don't know why, but... Gold Bean. Gold, oh, level 11. Oh, wait, he only has one Pokemon. I should notice that more often. When they're a higher level than usual, I should expect that they only have one of that Pokemon. 